Good morning, Suzanne Middle School. I'm Emma Lin, your current ASB president. As we listen to the speeches of our candidates, we ask that you remember several things. First and most important, it takes a lot of courage and motivation to get up in front of all of you and speak about what you believe in. Of the 1,000 students in the 6th and 7th grade, only 6 are running for office. By virtue of that alone, they deserve our respect and applause. As each office is introduced, the candidates will speak in the same order in which they appear on the ballot. Once all candidates have spoken, you will be voting immediately in your homerooms. Keep in mind, this is not a popularity contest. Vote for the candidate who sounds best to you. Don't vote for someone just because everyone else says they are, or because someone else tells you to do so. Vote for the candidate you think is best. Hello, my name is Haley Torres, your current ASB treasurer. This year, unfortunately, we have no candidates for the Office of Treasurer. Thank you. My name is Zoe Tran and I am your current ASB secretary. For the next group of candidates, the next group of candidates is running for the Office of Secretary. The secretary must keep accurate minutes and attendance records for of all ASB meetings. These are very important as they become a permanent record of what was said and what decisions are made by our students. As secretary, your candidate will need to be accurate and neat about keeping minutes. Just as with any of the other officers, this job includes many other responsibilities that pop up during the school year. Please keep all of this in mind as you listen to the following speeches. The first candidate for secretary is Amber Zhu. The second candidate is Talisa Perez. Once again, your candidates for ASB secretary are Amber Zhu and Talisa Perez. Hi, my name is Amber Zhu, and I'm a seventh grader currently running for the Office of Secretary. Many of you may not know me, but if you do, you would know that I'm a very hardworking and responsible student. If you get to know me, you will find out that I'm actually also a really thoughtful and kind person. Not only that, I have a passion for leading and an easygoing personality. That's actually part of why I'm running. I want to get to know more of you guys. So enough about me, let's talk about our school. Our leadership class does an excellent job on creating a spectacular events such as a Valentine's Dance and Haunted NPR. I realize what it takes. It takes a lot of time, effort, and perseverance. I can give all those things and much more into each and every single event that takes place in San Middle School. No matter the difficulty, I will always try my hardest to finish the task. As secretary, I would arrange more fun events for the school so kids could have things to do during the lunchtime, such as a dance-off or contest. Also, I would help raise some money for our school by making some more fundraisers that students would enjoy, such as ice cream or popcorn, making it a win-win situation. Students are happy and the school earns money. So vote for me, Amber Zhu, as your next secretary, and I promise you won't regret it. Hello, my name is, but first, can I get a drum roll, please? Lisa Perez. I am a sixth grader, and I will be running for student secretary this year. I am a hardworking person that will try their best at this position to hear you guys, the students. Some of you might know me as an actress, an athlete, or a teammate, or some of you don't know me at all, but that's not important at the moment. What does matter is because of my involvement in sports and clubs, I understand what needs to be fixed with these clubs. I will try my hardest to represent you and get better sports jerseys, making a soccer team and making sure you guys, the students, feel appreciate, pre appreciated. There are many things that are similar with me and my competitors, but one thing that is different about me is that I will listen to your guys' ideas by making sure your homeroom representative goes to every month's meeting and informs your homeroom about the events that will be taking place that month. So let's have a successful year and vote me for secretary. Thank you and I appreciate all your votes. Thank you and good luck to all the candidates running for secretary. Our next office is that of vice president and I'm Rosalind, your current VP. The vice president assists the president but has several responsibilities of his or her own. They along with the president preside over all ASB meetings and present the student calendar. Like the president, they also represent the students of Suzanne Middle School at school functions meetings, and interactions with the public. The candidates who are running for vice president all have ideas of their own to share with you about what they can do for Susan. Listen carefully and make your selection wisely. The first candidate for ASB vice president is Ashley Sai. The second candidate is Zoe Tran. 
Once again, your candidates for ASB Vice President are Ashley Sai and Zoe Tran. Having already been in leadership for a year, I think it says a lot that I'm running for office again. Being your 2018 to 2019 secretary has been a pleasure, but sadly all good things come to an end. But I mean, it's all about perspective. An end is just a new beginning. Hi, my name is Zoe Tran and I want to be your next vice president. I believe that I have the passion to lead. Personally, being in leadership has been such a learning experience. I learned to talk less, to listen more, to try to be positive no matter how negative life gets, and to be an all-around kind person. That even the smallest person can have the biggest impact. And though you can't tell from behind this podium, I'm pretty small. Yes, leadership has taught me so much, but I think there is so much more to learn from this class. Knowing how much work and effort it takes to put events together actually motivates me to keep going. It's like making a cake. Though it can be messy at first, it eventually transforms into something incredible and beautiful. That is, if you don't burn your kitchen down. And along the way, you can have so much fun. Just the sight of people enjoying your, all, all your work makes all the troubles you went through worth it. I know you're waiting for the part where I tell you what I can do to improve the school, what you want to hear so I get the votes. But I don't want to be a candidate that makes a bunch of empty promises. So instead, I promise I'll work hard and try my best to improve Suzanne. Working on events have made me more responsible and more aware of time. If you vote me as vice president, I promise that I will never give up until the job is 100% done. So vote Zoe for the class of 2019-2020 vice president. And I promise you won't regret it. Zoe for VP. It even rhymes. Not really. <laughs> I hope you have a great day, challengers. And remember, I love you 3000. I know many of the people watching this right now are probably gonna fall asleep soon, which is fine because we're all a little tired, but I'm gonna try to make this interesting for you. And trust me, it's not as easy as you think. So you could go to sleep and ignore me, but then you wouldn't have the most fitting vice president for your 2019 to 2020 middle school year. As a fitting vice president should, I will guarantee a positive change at Suzanne Middle School. Hi, my name is Ashley Sai. I'm currently in seventh grade and I will be running for Associated Student Body, ASB Vice President for the 2019 to 2020 school year. I'm truly passionate about making a positive impact at the school by listening to your ideas on improving Suzanne. I'm aware that some ideas aren't the most clever, but I'm willing to listen anyway. My greatest motivation to being VP is to make this campus even better. With your help, change is achievable. Some ideas I have to improve the campus are a more clean and environmentally friendly campus, because hashtag save the turtles, hello. Welcome incoming sixth graders, because we all know how hard it is to transition from little kids school to big kids school. And adding new extracurricular activities or clubs to let your parents know that you guys have a life at school besides, obviously, the education. As your vice president, I would aim to increase advertising for basketball and football games, help those struggling with certain subjects by starting a year-round mentorship program, and improvement on how to handle bullying by bringing in speakers to the class to talk about sensitivity. I'm going to be realistic and say that our school campus isn't as clean as it could be. Come on, you know it. Take a good look outside your class right now. Can you honestly tell me that you don't see trash outside? Probably not. However, it would be my pleasure to change that because again, hashtag save the turtles. Some ideas include placing recycling bins outside of classrooms for lunch and snack times, making sure there's always hand soap and toilet paper in the bathrooms, and replacing the non-recycled paper food trays for the reusable plastic ones. You're probably getting a little bored now, but I'm almost done, so bear with me. Look around your class to see if anyone's sleeping. Hopefully not. Moving on to my next goal, we all know what it's like to walk onto a new campus for the first time. As past fifth graders, the scary big kids campus is not what we are used to. Next year, I want to welcome the incoming sixth graders as they enter or walk around school, making sure no one goes in the wrong class, because sadly, I'm sure many of us knows what that feels like. While writing this speech, I asked my friends, cousins, and peers for suggestions on how to improve school. Even those who were unwilling to help me at first, I was persistent enough to force it out of them anyway. Much of their feedback was about the extracurricular programs offered at Suzanne. I want every student to feel that there's something here for them besides education. I'm aware of budget issues, however, I'm determined to raise enough funds by planning more school fundraisers to start more clubs. 
Some ideas include book club, endangered species club, a soccer team, or a club for athletes who don't make it onto the Suzanne Middle School athletic programs the first year, where there are practices dedicated to making it onto the team next year. With your assistance by voting for me, these expectations could become a reality. I aim to deliver not just the ideas listed, but I'm willing to look into anything you have in mind. If elected, I will fight for justice, transparency, equality for our student body, and changing Suzanne Middle School for the better. So don't hesitate to raise your voice, make a change, and vote Ashley for vice president. Thank you for bearing with me these past three minutes. Thank you and good luck to all the candidates running for vice president. The last group of speeches belong to the office of president. As president, I am responsible for many things. I run the ASB meetings, represent the students of Suzanne at a variety of function, and am frequently called on to escort visitors around campus and to speak publicly. I am also responsible for making sure that the treasurer's report and the secretary's minutes are accurate. There are many responsibilities that come with this job, and the president needs to be ready at all times to step in and step up to lead. As you listen to our candidates, ask yourself who can best carry out these responsibilities. To your satisfaction, the first candidate for president is Evelyn Wang. The second candidate is Haley Torres. Once again, your candidates for president are Evelyn Wang and Haley Torres. We all remember our first day at Suzanne, so nervous and scared. We're on a big campus, lost between classes, among new peers, and trying to get this locker combination to work. But look at us now. We have made more friends than we could wish for, and now we know our school like it's our backyard. It's hard to believe that we are almost done with this year. Our time at Suzanne are moments that we will treasure down the road. And I want to be here for all of you, for all of us, to make this new chapter in our lives. Hi, my name is Evelyn Wang and I am running for the 2019 to 2020 ASB president. Now tell me, what kind of president do you want? Someone who's smart, enthusiastic, diligent, and open-minded? A hard worker or someone who can make you laugh? Look no further, she's right here. I mean, just look at me, or at least pretend to. If you think those are the qualities of a president, then I'm the choice for you. If I am elected president, I have so many ideas to bring to the table, such as making the campus cleaner, adding new clubs, and adding more exciting activities throughout the year. You're all familiar with the restaurants on campus, right? For those of you who do not, good for you. If you do, no, it's not that sanitary. If elected, I will try to add seat covers to every stall, as for the girls especially, and make the restrooms cleaner. Did I hear someone say clubs? Well, that's no problem. I plan on talking to the administrators to add clubs that were suggested by students, such as a soccer club, a mock trial club, and a sneaker club. If I get elected for office, I will try and host more activities or events like meme day, recreate a picture day, or even an opposite day. I would also like to hold two new time activities every month. That way we can bring our school closer together with more competition and activities. Have you ever wondered why your birthday balloons never came on time or why you came in late or too early? Well, if I get elected for office, I will try my best to make sure all your birthday balloons come as close to your birthday. I'm sure most of you guys want to feel special on your birthday, so I'll try to make your birthday balloons come, on, come in on time. We can all participate and work together to make Suzanne the best it can be. If you want all these amazing things to happen, vote me as your next ASB president. Being president is a big responsibility, which I believe I can handle very well. I am a hardworking and dedicated student who never breaks a promise. So I promise to my fellow classmates that I will work my very best to be the best ASB president I can be. Our ASB leadership works side by side with students and administration to ensure exciting student activities and activities throughout the year. If I'm elected president, I have no problem going on stage, introducing speakers, or even just helping making posters. I will strive to continue making improvements at Suzanne School for every student here. Suzanne is such a special place. We're not just to learn, sorry teachers, but we are here to make new friends and experience all the new possibilities. If I'm elected president, I promise you will have the most memorable year at Suzanne you ever had. I have so many great ideas prepared for next year, and if I'm elected president, I'll always make myself available for your thoughts and opinions. So challengers, choose the right way. Vote Evelyn Wang as your 2019 to 2020 ASB president. Hi, my name is Haley Torres. I'm currently in the seventh grade, and this year I'm running for 2019 through 2020 student body president. For the two years that I have attended Suzanne, I have seen that our campus has a lot of really good qualities. One example is when we come together to participate in school activities such as school dances. I believe this unifies us and helps us all get to know each other while having fun. As student body president, I would host more activities such as more noon times to get students involved so they enjoy their middle school years. I also feel that Suzanne has room for improvement, specifically in the area of maintaining a clean campus. 
I completely understand that sometimes it is hard to clean up your trash and then it just ends up on the floor. If I had the infinity stones, I could just snap the trash away. But since I don't, we're gonna have a scavenger hunt where we scavenge for trash by homeroom. Each homeroom will get a list of trash items to collect and the homeroom with most or all of the items will earn their homeroom a star. This will get kids to participate and help reduce the trash on campus. This year as treasurer, I've learned and grown a lot. I've learned the importance of being a responsible leader and the best way to lead is to lead by example. What gives me passion and energy to lead is I have the ability to make a difference on campus and set positive examples for others. Leadership is all about getting more kids involved in serving our campus. And if elected, I will try my best to make the, make the campus better, but also be able to make it fun for kids. I started the year as a really shy kid, but this past year I've gained more confidence, experience, and knowledge to move forward to the next level as student body president. Thank you. This concludes our election broadcast. Teachers, please pass out ballots now. Students, please vote as soon as you receive your ballot and return to your homeroom teacher.